good morning, or good afternoon, or good night. I guess it depends on when you're watching this. Um, today, I'm going to do a bit of a rehash, but if you haven't seen it, this is my new little trick technique. Uh, basically, it requires stainless steel rod. This is a brazing rod. It's a, what is this, 308L brazing rod. It's about 2.3 millimeters. Um, and I got two of them, and one's cut longer than the other. Uh, that'll make sense in a bit. And I just put some electrical tape around it to hold them together. Clippers, piece of a. Uh, there's no way I'm going to focus on this. Um, this is 28 gauge, 430 stainless steel, wrapped in 38 gauge uh, Canthal D. Anyway, um, I'm going to need about that much. Like a normal coil, you wrap this, include you wrap the legs as well. Because the way it's you're gonna we're gonna do a full anneal. Once this gets wrapped. Which means we're gonna heat it to about fourteen hundred degrees. And hold it there for about 30 seconds. You know, the rod is going to act like a heat sink, which really helps to keep the uh, the wire from overheating. Anyway, uh, this is about to get a little loud, so you may want to turn your volume down a bit. I'm not going to talk while I'm heating it. Quick quench. That should do it. Yep, nice and cold. All right. Now to pull. It's actually.
actually quite soft now. It'll want to stay where it is. And for a build deck like the one you've got, that would be it. Oops. Twist. Just like that. I can do this. Gonna grab the short one and twist the long one. Now come up here and grab the coil. That rod slides out. If you do it with one shaped rod, which I tried, you'll never get the the coil off the rods because it acts like finger cuffs. There you go. Now this is better than two stacked coils because the airflow hits the bottom of this. It's got a Real narrow, that presents a very narrow restriction, so you get good airflow around it. But you've got the honking surface area, the thicker coil, and you don't have the where the two coils meet in the middle, like if you're using stacked duals, because there's a whole lot of heating that's going on there that's not really being cooled in the middle of a dual coil or a stacked dual. Um, Anyway, I'm going to go put this in, uh, I'm not sure what I'm going to go put this in. Anyway, have a great day, y'all.